AMD introduces Radeon RX 7650 GRE. Asus China confirms improved PCIe Q release slim solution. Nvidia is preparing for the RTX 5060 launch as RTX 4060 faces reduced supply. And lastly, GeForce RTX 5080 laptop GPU has been tested. Okay, first up, we have AMD is releasing an interesting GPU, which is the RX 7650 GRE based on Navi 33, of course, that will be performing between the 7600 XT and 7600, which is a strange release, not gonna lie. Why now? It's very confusing. But for now, we have the ASRock version. We can see we have more other versions here. As you can see, Challenger, the Power Color, Hellhound. These are the versions we'll be looking at. And these are the specs. So let's look into the specs here. So according to video cards, we get to see these specs. The 32 CUs they're sticking with, with the same stream processors of 2048. As for the boost clock, is a little bit toned down compared to 7600 XT, which is kind of expected, which is 2.69. Nice, gigahertz. And coming with only 8 gigs of VRAM, it's very much underwhelming that's for sure the rest of the spec looks similar with 170 watts port power so yeah it's a pretty interesting launch i, I don't see the point of launching the 7650 gre if they're gonna launch you know the 9000 series which is gonna replace this particular gpu anyway so strange very much and not only that the custom variants are also here as i said the power color gre hellhound is already here with other variants such as the 7650 gre pulls from sapphire and of course the black diamond also from sapphire so yeah these is the this is the black diamond this one looks pretty neat i'm not gonna lie and the pulse card is usual design we have another one which is the vaster rx 7650 gre alloy which is another amd exclusive aib so there we go not a bad looking car next up we have asus bringing their new ats shark design for this particular gpu that's interesting there asus is bringing in a specifically new gpu only for 7650 gre and probably we'll be seeing this same design for the 9000 series maybe yeston also bringing in their of course the same similar two designs which is the gear and game face so interesting looking cards there and of course the azrock challenger so yeah interesting launch here very confusing but i don't know if it's gonna sell or not but maybe into the lower tier market it will and next up we have hxl reporting their asus china pcie q really slim solution so these are the solution we get to see from asus china and of course it's in chinese so i can't really tell but we have the translation here according to unico hardware so let's look into the translation compensation of 200 jd e cards basically around 200 rmb so that's a compensation that we'll be giving based on those cards of course free replacement of motherboards with improved pcie q release design so it's going to be completely free that's pretty good from asus and additional compensation or warranty assistance will be provided for damage to the graphics cards so of course the graphics cards were damaged and they will be covering those so a very solid response here from asus they're not only improving the pciq release but also compensating all those who have been affected of course and also these are the motherboards as you can see amd x870e x870 all classes aimed b850 intel z890 intel b860 and intel z790 all these motherboards were affected and they're going to be replacing it for free total no cost so that's pretty good and at billy billy forum they released this particular video here that basically showcases the new motherboard that has been tested with their investigation from rog player country of course and yeah they have fixed the pciq release mechanism so that's pretty neat there and as you can see they just insert the gpu right there and then easily pull it off right look as you can see so yeah it can be easily pulled out and put in because that's the mechanism is and they fixed it so props to them next up we have another report from video cards here according to video cards basically rtx 4060 supply chain will be ending soon so yeah basically this month so this is the board channel rumors coming from board channels of course that i don't have any access to but let's look into video cards what they're saying rtx 4060 series will be significantly reduced in february so from nvidia and aic brand manufacturers we learned a noteworthy piece of information that needs to be paid close attention to by graphics card dealers nationwide that is the supply of rtx 4060 series models will change significantly it is understood that the supply of the main models of the rtx 4060 series will be greatly reduced from the first quarter of 2025 this 
that is from February 2025 in the domestic market. Nvidia supply of RTX 4060 series GPUs will be greatly reduced, which is at least 60% less than the estimated Q4 of 2024. That is the number of GPUs that each core AIC brand manufacturer can get from NV will be greatly reduced. So it is pretty much expected RTX 4060 getting reduced because of the RTX 5060 launch. And that's because, of course, the RTX 5060 is set to release on March of 2025. We also have one more information here, as you can see. This is a TikTok, uh, basically a TikTok post, you could say. I don't know how TikTok works, but anyway, TikTok post. And this particular user has bunch of GPUs. And I'll tell you why, because look at that. That's the RTX 5080, 5090D. We have the 5070 Ti, 5070, and many more GPUs that, as you can see, the whole bunch of gpus just ready to be sold i mean they're waiting for the time obviously the rtx 5019 that you can already buy so no problem with that one particular thing is that 5060 ti and 5060 as you can see right over here it says 650 watts so i'm guessing that is the recommended power supply demand here for the 5060 ti and 5060 probably for 5060 ti it will be 650 watts so that confirms one thing that if you have a power supply with 650 watts you don't have to upgrade it anymore you don't have to worry about it 5060 ti will be sufficient for that particular power supply and one more interesting thing that we can note here is that as you can see they're not going for the 12 vhpw connector they don't really need it they're going for the traditional or classic 8 pin connector so i guess that is sweet no need to worry about melting power cables although i guess that has been solved already but still they're going for only one 8 pin so that's quite interesting there and yeah there are more other, more slides here we don't have to look close into, into that because 5060 ti we had we needed more information about the 5060 ti and already you could see that there are multiple batch of gpus already available so that's pretty neat that it will be launching in march 2025 and that's why we were seeing that there will be less 4060 supply and lastly we have a huge information from billy billy and as you can see right over here it is said that this is the score of the notebook rtx 5080 display card and as you can see in 3d mark times five of course we have the name nvidia geforce rtx 5080 laptop gpu which is coming at 18,924, and in the gpu score we're looking at 21,948. And if you have to compare the score with the RTX 4080 laptop, we have the score of 16,638 and the graphics score is 17,891. So in comparison, it's like around 16% faster. The RTX 5080 laptop is faster than RTX 4080 by 16%, of course, the laptop only. But there is a factor here, of course. This particular GPU, well, RTX 5080 is rated, as you can see right over here, the TGP is rated at 80 to 150 watts. So it is not confirmed which particular wattage we're looking at for this particular test, of course. And of course, it's uh, another interesting part is that similarly, RTX 4080, they also depend on what is the TGP for the laptop is. So you can't really tell which one or what the test is compared to. So it's just a vanilla comparison I'm doing here, right? This particular score versus the RTX 4080. So around 16% here. And if you look into the TGP, of course, I'm guessing it's in the maximum 150 watts. So I would hope that RTX 4080 at 150 watts should be also the same score as this. So yeah, so if that is the case, it's not bad, but only 16% generational uplift isn't really that great because when you look into this particular score and this one yeah it, it doesn't feel like it's a great improvement here although it's not it's not less than 10 percent, so that's pretty good i mean the desktop version the rtx 5080 is pretty damn bad <laughs> and well rtx 5080 compared in laptop series of course looks at least promising only the 3d mark of course so we can't really tell the whole picture but at least it's promising that at 16 percent faster compared to rtx 5080 rtx 5080 is looking not that bad also not that great so yeah what do you think will the rtx 5080 laptop deliver some solid performance in the laptop series or will it be a similar case as the rtx 5080 desktop disappointment or no you tell me anyways <laughs> like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video